The first Boeing T-7A Red Hawk successfully arrived at Edwards Air Force Base. This milestone formally commences the Air Force's developmental flight test campaign for the aircraft, aimed at fielding a replacement pilot training capability for the 1960s era Northrop P-38 Talon. The aircraft, known as APT-2, is the first production representative jet off the assembly line and was piloted by a joint U.S. Air Force and Boeing air crew. The journey to Edwards included stops at Vance Air Force Base, Kirtland Air Force Base, and Luke Air Force Base. This arrival marks an exciting transition into the next phase of developmental flight, noted Major Aronoff, T-7A test pilot. The T-7A gives immense capability updates that will allow the Air Force to train the next generation of combat aviators. The success of the first delivery is truly a testament to the joint USAF industry team we have in place, added Aronoff. The collaboration in the cockpit represents the construct of the T-7A Integrated Test Force, which will see the Air Force and Boeing team members working shoulder to shoulder to test and certify the aircraft rapidly. Historically, the T-7A notched its first Air Force piloted flight on June 28, 2023. The name Red Hawk honors the legacy of the Tuskegee Airmen and pays homage to their signature red-tailed aircraft from World War II. The Boeing Saab T-7 Red Hawk, initially known as the Boeing TX, later Boeing Saab TX, is an American-Swedish supersonic advanced jet trainer produced by Boeing and Saab. The USAF's Air Education and Training Command began developing the requirements for replacing the supersonic Northrop T-38 Talon as early as 2003. Originally, the replacement trainer was expected to enter service around 2020. A fatigue failure of a T-38C killed its two-person crew in 2008, and the USAP advanced the target date of Initial Operational Capability, or IOC, to 2017. Boeing partnered with Swedish aerospace firm Saab to compete in the T-7 program. On September 13, 2016, the team unveiled prototypes of the Boeing TX, a single-engine advanced jet trainer with a twin tail, tandem seating, and retractable tricycle landing gear, all powered by a General Electric F-404 afterburning turbofan engine. The first TX aircraft flew on December 20, 2016. The Boeing Saab team submitted their entry after the Air Force opened the T-7 program to bids in December 2016. In December 2018, Air Force officials announced that Boeing's design would be its new advanced jet trainer. Under an up to $9.2 billion program to purchase 351 aircraft, 46 simulators, maintenance training, and support. This contract has options for up to 475 airplanes in total. In 2018, Boeing recorded a $691 million pre-tax charge during the third quarter, partly because of the TX program. The T-7A Red Hawk introduces capabilities that prepare pilots for fifth-generation fighters, including high-G environment, information sensor management, high angle of attack flight characteristics, night operations, and transferable air-to-air -air and air-to-ground skills. Acting Secretary of the Air Force Matthew Donovan said the T-7A will be the staple of a new generation of aircraft. The Red Hawk offers advanced capabilities for training tomorrow's pilots on data links, simulated radar, smart weapons, defensive management systems, as well as synthetic training capabilities. Along with updated technology and performance capabilities, the T-7A will be accompanied by enhanced simulators and the ability to update system software faster and more seamlessly. The plane was also designed with maintainers in mind by utilizing easy-to-reach and open-access panels. 
the T7A features twin tails, slats, and big landing edge root extensions that provide deft handling at low speeds, allowing it to fly in a way that better approximates real-world demands and that is specifically designed to prepare pilots for fifth-generation aircraft. The aircraft's single engine generates nearly three times more thrust than the dual engines of the T-38C Talon it is replacing. The distance between the T-38 and an F-35 is night and day, said Air Force Chief of Staff General David L. Goldfein. But with the T-7A, the distance is much, much smaller. And that's important because it means the pilots trained on it will be that much better, that much faster, at a time when we must be able to train to the speed of the threat. A $9.2 billion contract awarded to Boeing in September 2018 calls for 351 T-7A aircraft, 46 simulators, and associated ground equipment to be delivered and installed, replacing Air Education and Training Command's 57-year-old fleet of T-38C Talons. Boeing also intends to offer an armed version of the T-7 to replace aging Northrop F-5 and Dassault Dornier Alpha jet fleets worldwide. In May 2023, the Government Accountability Office released a report on the T-7 program detailing problems with the software and safety systems and other delays that saw the USAF delay a production decision to February 2025. The report said that a schedule provided by Boeing in January 2023 was optimistic and dependent on favorable assumptions. Notwithstanding the delayed production decision, the report noted that Boeing planned to start producing the first T-7s in early 2024. On September 21, 2023, the first Red Hawk was shipped to the U.S. Air Force. By November 2023, the USAF was actively considering possibly turning the T-7 into an armed combat aircraft. Conceptually dubbed the F-7, such a jet could provide roughly the same capability as a fourth-generation fighter, which could maintain force numbers as F-16s are retired and replace older Northrop F-5 and Dornier Alpha jet platforms on the export market. Boeing aims to sell over 2,700 Red Hawks globally. In addition to the USAF, the company also targets Serbia and Australia as potential international customers. The Royal Australian Air Force, or RAF, is looking to replace 33 BAE Hawk Mark 127 lead-in fighter or LIF jet trainers, which it ordered in 1997. Boeing intends to participate in the tender for the RAF's lift program. Serbia is looking at the T-7A Red Hawk as one possible replacement for its G-4s and J-22 trainer aircraft. The T-7B variant is one of the contenders for the United States Navy's Tactical Surrogate Aircraft Program with a possible sale of 64 aircraft. The FT-7X, a variant of the T-7, is one of the contenders for the USAF's Advanced Tactical Trainer Program, with possible sales of 100 to 400 aircraft. Boeing has also pitched the T-7 to the Brazilian Air Force.